With your NBC 26 News update, I'm Jenna Bree. The next generation of U.S. postal mail trucks will not be made in Oshkosh, as many of us once thought. Oshkosh Defense announced they will be moving the production of the trucks to South Carolina. Oshkosh Defense said, unfortunately, they could not identify an existing building that was viable for the project. The Wisconsin Assembly sent a package of bills to Governor Tony Evers that would limit opportunities for absentee voting. Opponents of the bills say it would make it more difficult for the elderly and disabled to cast absentee ballots. It would also prohibit officials from filling in missing information on the envelopes of returned absentee ballots. Evers is expected to veto them. The Milwaukee Bucks look to put the fear of the deer into the Atlanta Hawks tonight for Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. They say tickets for Games 1 and 2 are going fast, and there's a limited amount of them, so the clock is ticking. The last time the Bucks were in the Eastern Conference Finals was in 2019. They lost to the Toronto Raptors. They've only won one NBA championship in the history of the franchise, which was back in 1971. But sportscaster Stephen A. Smith thinks this is the year the Milwaukee Bucks take it all. Fear the deer. Woo! Good morning. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Today we are finally going to be reaching some nice temperatures. Starting off crisp and cool in the morning hours, rising to those upper 70s today into the Fox Valley. Winds staying strong out of the southwest with gusts up to nearly 25 miles per hour. This is going to pull in chances for a few spotty sprinkles. Also a little bit more and more clouds starting to roll in this afternoon as well. We'll stay partly cloudy tonight with temperatures falling into the 60s. Then tomorrow, whew, the heat starts to build. So does the humidity. We'll hit highs into the low 80s. It'll be quite uncomfortable and humid out there. Strong breezy winds and chances for some showers and storms early in the morning and then again into the evening hours and we could see some turn severe.